when your brake pads reach end of its life and you want to get a new brake pads apart from the stock option that is available you are looking out and having research done on the brake pad types that is available in the market however you find there are different confusing terms like organic ceramic and sintered brake pads what are the key difference of these brake pads and which one should you buy let's see in this video The key role of a brake pad is to function as a sacrificial layer that rubs against the brake rotor and with the help of its friction material it slows the rotor down which slows down your wheel which in turn stops your bike. The differentiation of these brake pads comes down to the friction material that is used and the manufacturers decide what sort of brake pads has to be used in your motorcycle based on various factors and the costing plays an important role. These are a set of brake pads and this is a backing plate. There are different types of backing plates and each are different from one another. However, you might find similar backing plates of different manufacturers as budget brake pads tend to have similar design to keep the cost in check. These backing plates hold the friction material which is pressed or glued onto the backing plate. Now based on the friction material, let's see what does organic brake pad mean. As the name suggests, Organic brake pads is completely made of organic materials. In earlier days, powdered asbestos, yes, the same material which is used to make the roofing sheet, were used to make brake pad friction material. However, due to its carcinogenic nature, the brake pad manufacturers moved to using more organic and human friendly materials like rubber, carbon compounds, fiberglass, Kevlar which is used for bullet proofing which is also known as aramid fiber and glass were mixed together in the powder form and using a different manufacturing process all these materials were mixed together with a type of resin and then it was compressed and formed a friction material which was then attached to the backing plate to form a brake pad now when it comes to ceramic brake pads which is believed that it is of superior quality than the organic brake pads contains ceramic compounds that is clay as the major material that forms a ceramic brake pad ceramic were used in the powdered form and along with ceramic copper kevlar and added resins along with some metallic fibers were compressed and made into ceramic brake pads ceramic brake pads contains up to 50% copper which helps in dissipating the heat that is generated by the rotor during its operation now speaking of sintered brake pads which is said to be a superior brake pad out of all the three sintered brake pads mostly use metallic compounds as a friction material these forged metal brake pads will have superior stopping power when compared to other brake pads powdered resins is combined with some graphite and other materials like kevlar fiber for some added strength and copper and other metals like brass were compressed and forged to form a brake pad material which is then placed in a chamber where it is forced under pressure and very high temperature to finally form the sintered brake pad This entire process of forging the compound under high pressure and temperature is called as sintering and the brake pads which is made using this process is called as a sintered brake pad. Now since you have understood the different materials used in these three types of brake pads let's see what are the pros and cons of all the three brake pads. When it comes to superior braking power the sintered brake pads is the master of all the three. It also has a double edge dot friction rating which is said to be the hardest and one of the long lasting brake pads which is available. Also being a metallic brake pad it also has a high heat transferring property which will cool the rotor along with the caliper even under extreme situations and moreover these sintered brake pads function its best when it gets time to warm up also one more advantage of having a metal in the brake pad is that it is one of the hardest compound so that it doesn't compress which will in turn give you a better feel and feedback while braking while sintered brake pads have its own pros there are some cons to consider The first one being the price. The cost of a sintered brake pads is very high depending on different makes and models. Being a metal brake pad, it is one of the noisiest brake pads to consider. Also, the metallic particles or the brake dust which is generated tends to stick around the brake calipers which would be very difficult to clean later on. And one major con of having a sintered brake pad is that it affects the brake rotor over longer run. Since both the brake rotor and the brake pad itself is metallic, the wear and tear of the brake rotor will be on the higher end compared to other two brake pads. While the other end of the spectrum has the organic brake pads, which is one of the cheapest and has a minimal brake dust compared to other two brake pads. 
and it produces less heat and is also silent in operation. And the best part is, it doesn't harm the brake rotor. But when it comes to the actual feel and feedback, organic brake pads is the least powerful out of all the brake pads. Also, since it has softer materials, it doesn't last for a long time. This brake pad tends to drop its performance once it warms up. When these organic brake pads tend to get in contact with water, during its operation, it tends to get polished up and the surface becomes smooth. In this situation, you might have to remove the brake pad and sand it and then reuse it in order to regain the performance. Hence, periodic maintenance is must while using the organic brake pads. When it comes to ceramic brake pads, it is a combination of both organic and the sintered brake pads. However, ceramic brake pads is a part of organic brake pads itself. Being a semi-metallic brake pad, since its composition is more of copper, it is one of the softest material which doesn't harm the brake rotors. Also, being copper as its major compound, it dissipates the heat better than organic brake pads. Also, there are less or negligible brake dust produced from the ceramic brake pads. Even though it doesn't have that superior power compared to sinter brake pads, it will have far better and superior stopping power when compared to organic brake pads. And just like sintered brake pads, ceramic brake pads too have double-edged dot friction rating. Now if you feel that ceramic brake pad is one which you should go to, think again. Even though ceramic brake pads are much superior than organic brake pads and can function under higher temperature, it still cannot function at an extreme temperature like how a sintered brake pad can do. The performance of a ceramic brake pad tends to fade away once the temperature reaches an extreme level. But don't worry, these extreme temperatures can arise only under racing conditions but not on the regular day-to-day -day ride. Since you have understood all the pros and cons of all the three brake pads, let's see which one should you buy. If your goal is to extract all the maximum performance of your braking from your motorcycle or if you ride a motorcycle which is on the race spec or you are a heavy track rider or you ride your motorcycle in the extreme situations, then the metallic brake pads or the sintered brake pads is the go-to one. No other brake pads can offer you this amount of performance or the stopping power which you might require in these extreme conditions. But if you are a rider who are looking for performance but doesn't want to spend much and also want to save your brake rotor, then the ceramic brake pads is the go-to for you. These can offer a good braking performance yet keeping the rotor safe and also can offer a good performance in the day-to-day -day use. If you are a normal rider and does not do harsh braking and you want something easy on your pocket, then the organic brake pads must be your go-to one. But one thing to consider here is, there are a lot of aftermarket cheaper brake pads which you must avoid and buy a genuine part which your manufacturer recommend. I hope this video was informative enough and if you people like this video, do consider subscribing to Archeonics.